so in this video and upcoming future videos we are going to see how we can develop fiori application services and apis using a bap restful application programming so sap application programming model is there are two kind of uh, models mainly one is a restful application programming model which is rap and another one is cloud application programming model which is also called cap restful application programming model basically uses a bap language to develop the applications or services or apis and uh, the cloud application programming model which is cap there you can use different open source languages like node.js java so how we can decide which application programming model to use the very main difference is it could uh, depends on the company's profile or company's expertise their team members expertise so if a company has expertise in the abap then abap restful application programming model rap will be beneficial to adopt and uh, if you have expertise in the open source like python node js and java then cloud application programming model or cap would be beneficial for the restful application programming model we will be seeing only rap in this series it is available on the sap cloud platform and uh, available with s4 hana 1909 plus on premise so you get this rap on both as cloud as well as on premise and uh, the new features which gets released for sap cloud platform it gets released every quarterly and uh, for on premise system it is a yearly release we already have seen which one to choose depends on the company's expertise and then the next thing is the main three parts of uh, restful application programming model are adt in the eclipse and then abap and cds language and the powerful framework which is which works behind this rap model uh, let's see how this programming model gets evolved on the period of time a abap application programming model like before 7.5 we used to have the classic abap programming which includes webdin pro floor plan manager report programs and all those things then uh, abap platform after 7.5 we got abap application programming model for fiori applications mainly this comes with uh, services which we create in scgw gateway services basically and uh, then it comes the o data annotations and uh, then it comes the cds views and the bopf for transactional applications in this application programming models why this restful application programming model come into picture so there are certain there were certain limitations uh, in this abap application programming model which is basically with respect to the cds and the bopf cds was uh, only the read only means you can select the data you cannot perform any transactional or you cannot create any transactional app using just the cds views so this was one of the limitation and that limitation was overcome by the use of bopf be using bopf you can create the transactional applications but the thing is the cds views when we when we run the cds views or when we activate the cds views 
they catch the error at the design time itself which was a plus point with the cds views but uh, on the same time it is only used as a read operation or the select operations okay so and then for bopf when we activate the bopf when you created a transactional app and you are using bopf when you create a BOPF and activate it, it will never show you or never throw any error until the code gets executed. So this was one of the drawback of uh, BOPF or a limitation of BOPF. Another one is so much of auto generated code gets created while we use a BOPF for transactional app. And if there is any issue, then uh, it is very difficult to identify the exact location where the issue is these were some of the limitations for using the cds views and the bopf to overcome all of these things now sap come up with restful application programming model which still contains or which still has the cds views and the new thing they have updated it with uh, CDS entity views. So these CDS views are DDIC views and these are the new entity views basically. Now the next thing is uh, we we can we can have a different behavior definitions in through the CDS views and uh, we can have the implementations as well. Behavior definitions means uh, you can have insert, delete, update, check, validation and all of these and then you need to implement those as well, those methods. Then the next thing is the business services and service definition and service binding. To understand these three things, let's move to the next slide. and. Uh, this slide basically shows how is the flow when you use a restful application programming model to develop an application or develop an API. Application may be a Fiori application. The very first thing, okay, so before that, this ABAP application programming model, we create application in two different ways there are two kind of applications which we create using a BAP restful programming model those are the managed implementation and unmanaged implementation if you are starting developing an o database services or uh, o database uh, fury application from scratch then uh, it is called a managed implementation and if you have existing code base and you are using the same code base for the development then that would be called unmanaged implementation type okay for developing an restful application program application in the wrap model the very first thing which we need to do is create a table and uh, it's not always mandatory to create a table but it depends on the scenario just like we see in the managed and unmanaged scenario okay so we create a custom table and then uh, on the top of this table we create the cds views or it also can be called a data model here then uh, using this data model or using the cds view we we create a behavior definition for a CDS view or the data model. This is zero to one relationship here. There could be only one behavior definition for one data model or one CDS view. Or behavior definition will contain your uh, uh, different operations like insert, update, delete, or uh, check right for the business objects business objects is uh, nothing but composition of different entities each entity represents 
a CDS view or each entity is represented by a CDS view there must be there can be multiple CDS views or there can be multiple entities one entity should be a root view always okay that root view will be the business object so that root view and then CDS 1, CDS 2, CDS 3, it could be multiple CDS but there must be a one single root view okay for example we can take an example of a sales order we say a sales order header table and the sales order item table right sales order header will be your root and uh, then the items and the other details right the collectively this is called the business object then we we create the behavior definition on the top of it which uh, contains your insert delete update and uh, then we have the behavior implementation if you have insert delete update these methods then you also need to implement these methods you need to write some code inside this right then you once the implementation is done then uh, we create a service definition basically what this means is it takes the cds view and expose them as a service or we can say the o data service okay so whatever entities will be there those will be exposed as a service to the outside so that you can use it through the URL or some other other means okay so once this service definition is done then the last step is your service binding what service binding does is it basically creates an SICF node in the backend system or uh, if you have already familiar with uh, the ABAP application programming model then in that in the CDS we used to add this annotation at the rate odata.publish which is responsible to create the service in the backend system and then we go into service maintenance T code and we activate it right service binding will do everything for you here as soon as you create it it will create an SICF node and you will get the URL once this URL is available then we can preview the application directly from the ADT this is the last step and uh, this is how the Fiori application would look like if you are creating a list report application or OVP or some other application this is the last step before previewing your uh, Fiori application that's all for now in this video and uh, in the upcoming videos we will be creating some of the applications some of the Fiori applications service APIs using restful application programming model using a BAP language if you like the video please consider subscribing to my channel thank you